Welcome. Welcome. We're going to be tapping into our inner rabbits today. Our inner rabbits and our outer moon. The rabbits and the moon are connected. We see in the Maya tradition, when you see the rabbit, it is the face of the moon. And the rabbit and the grandmother are always seen together. So we're going to find out why the rabbit and the grandmother are connected. But let's start with our noses. So just take your nose and, and like a rabbit, wiggle your nose, just, right? Yeah, really, really wiggle it like a rabbit does wiggle its nose. Yeah, get that nose moving. All right, now take your nose and you're gonna look in the mirror, your imaginary mirror. You're looking into your rabbit face and you're gonna fog that mirror. So, the mirror's all fogged up. Now you're gonna take your nose and you just place it on the mirror. You keep your nose on the mirror and you begin to draw a circle with your nose without ever taking your nose off the mirror. Just circling and drawing with your nose in the mirror, keeping your nose touching that mirror. It's not a very big circle, but it's a very powerful circle. It begins to free that energy trapped between your neck and your head. Now go the other way. Now remember, your nose stays on the fog. It's a subtle circle, the kind a rabbit might make. And bring yourself back into the center. Now, we're going to notice our ears. So find your ears and wiggle your ears. See if you can wiggle your ears. Just do your best. Bring all your awareness to your ears. My grandfather taught me to wiggle my ears. <laughs> See if you can let your ears wiggle as freely as a rabbit's. And come on back and just take your ears and find your little beautiful fleshy earlobes. See how nice they feel. Yeah, that's one of the greatest places. Just feel your fleshy lobes of your ears and gently, gently tug them. Just a, a gentle tug just to open up your ears. Ah. And now take your hands and gently bring them over your ears and press your hands. And now close your eyes and just go inside. There's your inner rabbit. Okay, rabbits. Just gently shake out your ears. Really visualize your ears and just imagine you could gently shake them out. Shake out your ears. Let them be floppy. Rabbit ears that are flowing. And we won't stop there. Shake out your shoulders. Let go of anything you've been carrying around. Let that go. Now shake out your upper arms. And shake out your lower arms, your wrist. Shake it, shake your medicine. Shake out your fingers. Now shake out, shake out your heart. Shake out your heart center. Shake out your 
When I was in the first grade, my art teacher was named Miss Dot, Miss Dot. And she drew a rabbit up on the board and told us all that's how you draw a rabbit and we were all supposed to draw that rabbit. And I looked at it and it did not, I mean, it didn't look like a rabbit. I had a pet rabbit. I knew rabbits and that didn't look like a rabbit. So I drew what I thought a rabbit looked like. And she said, Catherine, you will never be any good at drawing because you can't draw a rabbit. She was wrong. She was so wrong. She couldn't draw a rabbit. She couldn't draw a rabbit to save her life. When I Yesterday I drew a beautiful fluffy white white rabbit. Just a beautiful rabbit in the moonlight with lilacs. And then the moon shining at the top. Oh Miss Dot, I don't know where you are or what happened to you. But I can draw a rabbit, I can be a rabbit. So think about the qualities of a rabbit. A rabbit is light. A rabbit has a lightness and a light leaping. The native one said, walk in light, walk lightly. So practice leaping. A little light leaping like a rabbit so nobody can hear you when you land. You land lightly like a rabbit. Yeah. And just see if you can leap backwards. Landing lightly and leap forward. Leap sideways. The other way. Leap around in a little circle. Go the other way. Okay, rabbits, how do you feel? Yeah, I think on the whole, rabbits feel good. I think they're happier than a lot of animals. So I want you now to just take your hands and grow your antenna like beautiful wings coming out, like big rabbit ear antenna. And 
just let go. chant. Soma is the name for the moon in Sanskrit. Soma energy, moon energy. So we're going to chant to the moon. And we're going to start facing to the east. So wherever you are, you can face to the east. You can keep watching me for a moment if you want while I demonstrate. And we'll all go together. So the chant goes like this. We'll release our hands. We'll inhale and we'll take our hands up overhead. Our palms come together. And then as they float down, we chant, Om Somayaya Namaha. Let's try that again. You'll just take your hands up with a big breath. Breathe in, breathe in lunar energy. And with your exhale, Om Somaya ya Namaha. Then you'll lean over and touch the earth. Touch the earth. <coughs> touch your knees. Touch your <coughs> hips. <coughs> touch your belly. Touch your heart your soft throat, your soft rabbit-like throat, your eyes, the crown of your head, surrounding it all with that protective lunar energy. And then we'll turn and we'll face the south. So wherever you are, turn and face the south. And then with your inhale, release your hands. Inhale and come up, deep breath into your heart. Hold your hands overhead like you're reaching for the moon. And with your exhale, Om Somaya Ya Namaha. Connect to the earth. You can bend your knees. Your knees. Your hips bring the lunar energy up. Your belly, your heart center, your soft throat, your eyes, the crown of your head where you connect with the cosmos. And then turn 
and face the west. Face the west wherever you are. Turn to the west. And then once more, deep breath in. Inhale. Reach up to the sky. And then exhale. Om Somaya Namaha. Bow down to the earth. Touch the earth. Be humble. Touch your knees, your hips, your belly. Come on up. Be strong. Your heart center. Throat. Eyes. Crown of your head. And now turn and face the north, the direction of the grandmothers, the ancestors. Face the north, wherever your north is. Inhale, breathe in, deep breath in, reach up. Reach up. Reach for the sky. Come on down to the earth, touch the earth. You can kneel on one knee and just touch the earth. Honoring Mother Earth, honoring the direction of down, down into the center of the earth. Now reach up to the sky and come on up. And in the tradition that my ancestors come from, there are seven directions. There is the east, the south, the west, and the north. There is below and above. And then there's right here in the center. Right here in the center. So bring your hands right here in the center, the seventh direction. Right here. In the center. So we're going to come down now and we're going to practice Shashasana, which is rabbit pose, the great pose of the rabbit. So we'll come down slowly onto our mats. And we will come down, we'll start before we go into Shashasana, rabbit pose. We'll start in Balasana, child's pose. So you'll start as a kit, as a baby rabbit. So you can kneel down and then you'll come down so that your forehead touches the earth. Your palms are up by your heels. You're kneeling down. If you need to put your head on a cushion, you can. Bring your palms down. Let your shoulders be heavy and hang down. And come into the pose of a child. And take a few breaths here. And see if there's anything about this pose that makes you feel like a child. And go there. So this is the pose of the seed of the embryo of the child. It's the shape of all possibilities here in Balasana. So just take a few deep breaths in. Look through your third eye down into the heart of the earth because that's where the grandmother is. The grandmother energy is at the heart of the earth. So bow down to her now. They say the strongest love of all is that of the grandmother. Receive that love. Ishmukane. The grandmother grinding the bones at the center of the earth. The way the grandmother grinds the corn. When you come into the restaurant. Grinding, grinding for you. And now as you are kneeling here on the earth, you're going to reach back for your heels, bringing your hands to your heels and rolling up onto the crown of your head, the 
place where you would wear a yarmulke. Rolling onto the crown of your head as you hold your heels. Walk your knees towards your head, any amount. And holding on to your heels, roll through your spine. Feeling that stretch along your back. Pulling, so your, your heels are pulling your hands, your hands are pulling your heels. And then slowly sink back down into Malasana. So you let your forehead relax onto the earth. You let your hands rest for a moment. By your heels, just wobble a little bit. Now this time we're gonna add rabbit ears to this pose. So you'll take your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers and your index fingers touch at the tips. This time, as we begin to roll up onto the crown of our head, we reach up with our fingertips as though we're reaching the energy out up from the crown of our head towards the sky. And this beautiful Shasasana pose gives us the same benefits as the headstand. It stimulates the nectar of immortality in your crown. And we're going to slowly roll down, releasing your hands. And then letting your hands come down by your sides. Palms are up, shoulders are heavy. Lying here for a moment. Valasana, be a child. One more time for this magic pose today. Remember, we're not putting any weight in the crown of our head. In fact, we're lifting that weight up to the moon. So once more, interlace your hands behind your back. Bend your elbows towards one another. Reaching out. Making that temple out of your index. Come on up. Roll up. now to press ourselves up, press ourselves up, press on up. Let's press all the way up, so standing up on the knees. So I actually am up as though I were, well, what do you do in this pose? So many things if you're a child. So let's be up on our knees and let's just take our hands out to the side and just reach out, reach out and press through your palms, reaching out like you have a doorway and you're standing in the doorway. You're pressing through your palms so strong. Now curl, curl, curl your hands into a strong fist. Make a strong fist and then begin to make tiny circles. Tiny circles, being strong. Being strong. This is the anti heart attack pose. This strengthens that heart channel every day. Soft but steady circles, squeezing your fist. Light, 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 like a bunny. Light, light, light. And now pause, notice how you feel, feel that heart energy. And now go the other way, light, 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 little circles. Little circles. And then huh, let your hands float down. And do a little shape shifting so that you become a great bird. 
You're just gonna feel your wings. One of the things we need to get good at right now is shape shifting. Adapting to the circumstances. The eagle is the one that has big vision. They can see the whole world. Sometimes the eagle inhale up is looking for a rabbit. And exhale and come on down. It's the way of the world. Inhale and come up. Now just practice soaring. As long as your belly is strong, as long as you have that power at your center, you can soar all now, while you're soaring, play, play. Use your fingers, which activate your heart. Play a giant drum. Play an instrument like you're in the sky. And you can play in all directions. Keep your fingers moving. That activates your heart energy. It makes you as powerful as an eagle. Keep your fingers moving. Keep your fingers moving. Activate your heart. Play. Play that instrument, that cosmic instrument of love. And now take your hands, and you're going to be like a grandmother. And you're going to wrap yourself in those loving arms. There is no greater love. Give yourself that gift from the heart of the earth, from Ishmukane. Grandmother, big hug to you. Inhale and open your arms and send that out. I see you. I send it to you. Send it to anyone you want, right from your heart. Now the hug of Ishmukane, embracing the rabbit. Give yourself a hug. I love you so much. And slowly come back down on our knees. Just back down on our knees. Coming into the pose of the hero. The heroine, the hero. This is the pose that heals your knees and your digestive system. Give your knees a rub here with your hands. Just rub them. Anybody needs some support between their hips and their heels? You can use a cushion or a blanket. Does anybody have a cushion nearby? Any kind of cushion? A couch cushion? A sort of thing. If you do, I'm going to recommend now that we balance out Shashashana, that beautiful pose we did that stretched out the back of our spine. We're going to stretch now the front of our spine. And the animal that's going to guide us into this pose is the camel. So you can take your cushion and place it so that it rests on your lower legs. You can curl your toes. Curl your toes under. You still you have that cushion behind you. Doesn't matter what size cushion. You just got yourself a cushion. Your knees can be on a blanket. Your knees aren't comfortable. You're probably not too comfortable. So put a blanket there if you want. Your knees are about that thick apart. First start by bringing your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath, and with your inhale, lift your heart. Now, take your chin and glide it out in front of you with your inhale, and glide it out with your exhale. So you glide 
forward and forward and back like you're on a shelf. The next time you glide your chin back, leave it there. So you've got double chins. You're gonna take your hands now to your low back, bringing your elbows towards one another. Soothing your low back so you can smooth it down. With your inhale, begin to lift your chest, lift your chest. Your hands come down your back until they come to the cushion. You press into the cushion and lift your heart. Looking up, but we're not plopping our head back. We have that strong support. Lift your heart and breathe. Be like a camel. And then slowly sinking down. Sink down. You can just rest here on your cushion. I like to just sit on your cushion for a moment. It feels kind of good there. Wobble a little bit. So one thing about this pose, we don't want to just flop our head back. You know, we don't really, that's not recommended, just to let your head just go flop back. In fact, believe it or not, that's about the only way you're going to die in yoga, because that could set, that could choke off your carotid artery. So we don't want to do that. That's why before we go into our camel, we pull our chin back and make as many chins as we possibly can. And then when we take our head back, we're very safe to go back. Okay, camels, are you ready to do it one more time? Take your cushion, place it on your lower legs, curl your toes under. Take your hands to your heart, support your neck. Deep breath into your heart. And then take your hands behind you to your low back. Your fingers are pointing down. Squeeze your elbows together. Lift your chest and walk your hands down until they come to that cushion. And you can press straight down into that cushion and look up. Lift your heart. Press down to lift your heart. Only with your heart may you touch the Slowly release. Let your hands come to your heart. This powerful heart opener can bring up many feelings. So just close your eyes and see what am I feeling? Where do I feel it? And just allow yourself to feel it. today. This is Bob's Uncle Wiggly when he had, when he was a child. But I too grew up with Uncle Wiggly. Anybody else have Uncle Wiggly in your life? Yeah, Uncle Wiggly is a huge influence. The artist who invented Uncle Wiggly is a huge influence on me and my life and everything I've ever done. But you can see Uncle Wiggly here, he's, a, he's an elderly rabbit, right? And he's even got a crutch. But he's so much fun. 
like Uncle Wiggily, all the kids want to be with Uncle Wiggily because he's not a crotchety old person. He's just plain old fun. And I think he did a lot of shashasana because they say you're really only as old as your spine. So the great quality that Uncle Wiggily had that I didn't see in all adults as I was growing up, like Miss Dot, she didn't have much of this quality, was great playfulness, <clears throat> great playfulness. And that's a quality of Uncle Wiggily that gave him such magnetism. He had rheumatism, but he also had magnetism. <laughs> so we're gonna keep making ourselves supple. So come into a comfortable seat, have a blanket if you want. And we're just gonna do some twists. So you're gonna take your left arm and you're gonna bring it across to your right knee. Your left hand comes behind you. Look over your shoulder to the left and breathe, coming into a twist. And with your exhale, we're gonna go the other way. So your right hand comes to your left knee, your left hand's behind you, in close to your sacrum. Twist around, now twist your gaze around. And let's just keep doing that. Do it with your own breath. Just twisting, exhaling as you twist. Inhaling as you come to the center and then exhale as you move around. And just do it at your own speed. Let's twist it. And the next time you twist around to the right, we're going to hang out here, twisting around to the right. But you're going to turn your head and look over your left shoulder. Do it like a rabbit so you're not forcing your neck. Now twist your gaze until you can actually see what you're looking at. Exhale and drop your chin towards your chest, towards your shoulder, without strain. And breathe into the back of your neck. Now just the opposite of a bunny, how slowly can you untwist? Let's go the other way, your right hand comes to your left knee. Take a moment, inhale and lift your spine. Twist, look around, look over your shoulder, over your left shoulder. And with your exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Your body stays left, you're looking right, without strain. Now stretch your gaze. What do you see? If you see what you're looking at, you come into the present moment. Now exhale and drop your chin down towards your chest. Breathe into the back of your neck. Imagine a giant nostril in the back of your neck and breathe into it. lift our knees and cross the other leg in front. Make any adjustments you'd like to make. And wobble around a little bit here. All right, this time we're going to twist again. This time we're going to take our right hand and put it on our right knee. And our left hand is going to come around as we twist around to the left, this is an open twist. Feel the difference. Left hand behind you, right hand with your knee. Inhale back to center. Bring your left hand to your left knee. Same hand, same knee. Your right hand comes behind you. This time it's an open twist. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. And let's just do some of those open twists. So bring your hand, your right hand to your right knee, your left hand behind you, and twist. 
And then again, Just be humble now. Take your hands in front of you. And just gently walk out. There's no place you have to get to. Just walk forward. Any amount. Walk forward. And then with your exhale, ah, bow down to the heart of the earth. Let your head hang down. If you'd like to support your head with a cushion, you can. You want to stack your fist to rest your forehead on your stacked fist. When we rest our third eye, when we allow our forehead to be supported, we begin to receive the intuition that comes to us from the way. Be humble. Bow down. Let your third eye. teach us patience. They help balance out the more rapid side of our nature. So just come on back up, give your knees another rub, but we're going to switch this pose one more time. You're going to bring that other foot in front. Maybe you noticed a deep stretch that time in your outer hip. We want to balance that out. So bring that other leg in front and just wiggle around. Now find, for just a moment, find your inner rabbit. Like, twitch your nose. Go ahead, really twitch it. It's a twitch. Wiggle your ears. And just ah, shake out all your fur. Just shake it out, all your fur. And then come on back. Alright, now we're ready to practice some patience. Who teaches us patience? Our grandmother. Grandmother teaches us patience. When we bow forward, when our belly is strong, that gives us the support we need to completely release. So once again, with your exhale, lock your hands in front of you. No destination. But just bring yourself forward. Walk out. Any amount. You can let your elbows bend, resting your forehead, forearms on the earth and bowing down. And then find a way to support your forehead. So either rest it on a cushion, stack your fist and rest your forehead, but find a way. Notice what happens when you relax your forehead and gaze with that inner eye deep into the heart of the mother, where Ishmukane, the great grandmother, the fire of her love burns. And you receive that message, you receive that energy. Breathe it in, be humble. The only way to connect to the heart of the mother is to be humble to just let go. Now is the time to ask for what you need. She loves you so much. All her children. We are her children. And slowly inhale and bring yourself up slowly. Come on up. Bring your legs out, out in front. Pound out your legs. Just give you a pound them out there on the earth. Boom, boom, boom. And then bringing your knees in. 
just gonna wrap your arms around your knees because you love them so much. And once again, just bow down, give yourself a hug, hugging. Let your head hang. And then you're gonna come on up. And you're just arching your spine as much as you can, lifting your heart and looking up. And then with your exhale, dropping your chin, rounding down, hugging the knee. See if you can stretch that place at the back of your heart between your shoulder blades. take our right leg and stretch it out in front of us and bend your left knee, bringing your foot up to the inside of your leg. If you would like some support between, beneath your hips, or if you'd like some support beneath your knee, use a cushion. So you've got that front leg out in front of you. We're coming right out from the hip. Ah. So let's do another twist. Let's walk, walk, walk our hands over to the right and twist, 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 twist. Twist your gaze around. Look over your right shoulder. Deep breath in and out. And then we're gonna start to hinge in. You let your hands now come on either side of your leg, but you're reaching out with your heart over that front leg, walking your hands any amount until you get to a place where you can bow once again, accepting support, you can use your stacked fist, you can use a cushion to rest your forehead. Whatever feels good here, take a few deep breaths here. This is a wonderful pose for your kidneys as you inhale here, where you feel the stretch is your kidney meridian. All your watery regions are connected to the moon to the flow of the tides. I watched the moon last night. It's a little baby moon right now, giving us that new energy, that fresh energy. Breathe that in through your kidneys. Just take it in. going to keep that leg outstretched in front of you, but we're going to twist again. So this time we'll walk our hands around to the left. You can bring your right hand to the other side of your hand. We'll twist again, looking over your Breathe into your ribs. See how 
you're making a half moon shape with your body. And now inhale and slowly, slowly come up. Reach back with your left hand, bring it onto the earth. And you're gonna press yourself up onto your left shin, reaching out through the right leg. And you've suddenly transformed into a cat. So do a great cat stretch with your body. Ah. And let's slowly come down. Ah. Just a little gentle shake the way your dog would. And we'll switch legs. So if you'd like to sit on a blanket, do. You can have a little height. We're going to bend our left leg this time. No, our right leg this time, bringing it up to your upper thigh. Giving yourself the support you might like. Let's do a little twist. Inhale, press into the earth. Open from that deep pressing down, lift your spine. With your exhale, lock your hands over to the left. Left hand behind you, your right hand to the outside of your knee. Flex your left foot and press through it as you twist around, looking over your left shoulder. Stretch your case. Now you're going to keep your body where it is as you shift your arms. Bringing your arms to either side of your left leg and reaching out with your heart over that outstretched leg. Walk yourself forward slowly and patiently. And bow down to Mother Earth. Let your head hang. Your belly is strong. That's what gives you the security to let go and bow down to the earth. Be humble and breathe. Now notice where you feel this stretch that your kitten were here. Breathe into it. Open it up to the pull of the moon. Let the moon guide the inner waters of your life. And just bow down. Stretch up, come on to your right shin. And just 
bring both legs together now that our kidneys are so stretched. And just bring the soles of your feet together. Bring the soles together and press your feet together and shine beams out through your knees. Just sit here for a moment with your friends. The animals, the moon, with each moment, grandmother. And now just slowly stretch in any way your body calls for. Your body has such wisdom. And it's open now to the wisdom of the grandmother, so it knows exactly how to move. It knows the medicine you need. And as you wiggle like an animal, you're going to slowly come down onto the earth. You're just going to lie down. You can have a blanket beneath your head. You could have a bolster beneath your legs. Let your feet fall out, turn your palms up, and lie down on Mother Earth. Just lie down, open to the light of the moon. We saw it shining to the west last night, a baby moon, fresh lunar light. Breathing in and out now as you relax the back of your head into the earth the back of your heart, the back of your hips, and your heels sink into the earth as we lie down and breathe together. Breath in. There is a saying among the native ones, feeling light within I walk. We're just going to let our consciousness walk with our breath, like light, to your toes, breathe in. Breathe that light into your ankles. Feeling light within. Walk to your knees and let them be globes of light. Let that breath move up your long femur bones and into your pelvis where it swirls around. Breathe that light into all your organs. Feel your kidneys flow with health. Breathe into all your back body. Let it receive the energy coming to us from the heart of the earth, the world. Let it come into your back body and into the back of your heart until your whole heart is illuminated. Love, and with your exhale, it moves out through your collarbones, your shoulders, down to your elbows, wrists, and fingers. Light. 
Breathe into your soft throat. Your rapid light throat. Breathe that light into your face. Eternal light. Take a deeper inhale and a deeper exhale. Beginning to stir like an animal in the spring, feeling the life force in your toes, all your toes, your fingers, and your feet, stirring in your wrist, your ankles. Then beginning oh, to wake up, open your arms, over your head and stretch like you're waking up in the morning. Open everything up. Open your eyes and your mouth and your ears. And then giving yourself a hug. Bring one knee and then the other into your chest. Hug your knees in. So... 